is SpyFan101 and today I'm here to make my spoiler review for Power Rangers. Now, I only do spoiler reviews for films that are really special. That's what I have to do spoiler reviews for them. So, if you have not seen Power Rangers, first of all, what are you doing with your life? Go watch it. Second of all, everything will be spoiled here. Absolutely everything will be spoiled here. So, yeah, two options. Actually, do something with your life and go see it, or watch my non-spoiler review. So, here we go. It starts off where um, you see the Red Ranger, and he's crawling on this battlefield, right? And he sees the Yellow Ranger. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then, you know, the Yellow Ranger's costume, like, deforms, and it turns to be an alien. And then you're like, okay, this is not, um, this is not the original Power Rangers that we're going to be following. No, and then, um, the Red Ranger takes his costume, costume off, and it turns out to be Zordon. And so, he's, he's telling Alpha 5, like, send the meteor, send the meteor. And he buries, and he tries to bury, um, the power coins until Rita comes in and... Rita was at one point the Green Ranger, and so she's like, "You cannot, you cannot, you cannot stop this." And then Zordon's pretty much like, "Well, I'm pretty sure that I can." And then the meteor comes in and blasts him away, and so Rita falls back into a pool of water, into like the ocean, and you know her costume deforms. And she's just sinking down into the water. And then we cut back to present day, where um, we see Jason, and an actor that um, I've seen a lot of stuff. Like I'm pretty sure this is the same actor that was in uh, Paranormal Activity Four. I think it is. But um, yeah, they're stealing a cow. And then the police are coming in, so they have to run. Like they're running, and you know the cow escapes, but. They're still running, and Jason gets in his truck and he's driving away from the police, which and which they're still following him. And they actually did something really cool here. They use like this 360 shot, where um, you know, we're in the point of view of um, well, not in the point of view, but we're pretty much seeing Zach drive. Right. <laughs> Zach, we're seeing Jason drive, and then like. You know, as he's driving, we're seeing like the point of view from all sides. All side, like a 360 motion. And I really like that. I thought it was really creative. And so he crashes he crashes the truck. And um after that it cuts to, after that it cuts to the title, Power Rangers. And then after that, we see we go to Angel Grove, and so Jason and his father are in the truck, and you see he has like a house arrest thing on his arm, or not on his arm, his ankle, and you know, his father's like, is this really what you want to be? Is this what you want your life to be? You just ruined your whole, whole high school career, and then... Jason's like, like, yeah, we're, we're not going to understand each other. So, Jason's dad lets him out of the car, out of the truck. And he walks in. He's getting a drink. He's getting a drink, Jason. Then he sees his old football stuff. And that's probably where he's, like, recollecting about what he did. He's like, oh, I messed up. And then, um, this is where, and then he sees someone coming down the hallway and so he he stops drinking the water he leans on the wall like this and then he's like and then when it turns around we see that the next character who is my who is one of one out of the two of my favorite characters in this movie we get introduced to Kimberly and she's in there and you know they're in class and everything. She goes to the bathroom, and uh, her old schoolmates, 
It's are basically they are talking to her and she's like and they're like like well well you're you're here instead of you know cheerleading like that that's pretty tragic and then they do this thing where they take a picture of all three of them together in the picture and they take Paris and cut Kimberly out of the photo basically symbolizing that you know we're not we're not friends anymore like we're not cool anymore and so when they walk out they're pretty much laughing at her and then you know like at this point she looks into the mirror and she sees that um the scissors are stuck to the wall so she takes the scissors out and she cuts her hair here and I'm not gonna lie a lot of these a lot of my favorite female characters are rocking the shortcuts and they're great I'm not gonna lie Jane rocked the shortcut and she looks awesome now Kimberly all that's left is soups but uh that's off topic so she gets out of the bathroom she's walking down walking down the stairs and um and all the students are pretty much like, hey, like, hey, that's a cool, that's a cool haircut. And, yeah. Then we get, um, like, earlier than that, because I just jumped to the Kimberly part, I got excited. But, um, before that, we got, um, introduced to Billy. And so, Jason's walking in, and, uh, he sees Billy there, and he's organizing his colored pencils and whatnot. And this guy comes up, and he's basically, and he basically knocks all the pencils onto the ground. And he's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." And then he makes this gesture like he's giving it back to him. Then he does this. And he's like, "You're a freak. You know that." And then he starts to break the pencils. And he's like, "Yeah, do something about it. Do something about it." And then Jason comes in. And he's like, "Boom! Back off!" And then that dude tries to hit him like. Ugh, ugh. And then, Jason does what might be the funniest part in the movie. He slaps him so hard that it echoed throughout the entire room. He was like, bah! Bah! And then he's like, did you just slap me? And then he's like, yeah, I slapped you. Weird, right? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. So, um, going on or going forward um Jason and Billy are walking out and Billy's like hey thank you for um thank you for helping me back there and then Jason's like and then you know Billy's like hey you wanna hang out wanna hang out later and Jason's like look I, I'm on house arrest I can't do that and then Billy says well I can easily take it off for you if you um if you uh, get to my house in time and so later on, um, Jason goes to his house, and he and he hears his parents talking. He's like, "What is he doing with his life? Like, what is he doing?" And so he goes out on his bicycle. He reaches Billy's house, and he's basically like, "Hurry up, Billy! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! It's gonna sound the alarm! Hurry up!" And so Billy, like, he's he's all nonchalant. He's like. Like so, hey, um, hey, um, I want to thank you for saving my life back there. While he's doing everything, Jason's like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. He's like, he's like, <laughs> he's like, like, hey, like, hey, have you heard? Of, have you heard of this group? Like, he, he, he's just com, he's having a like regular conversation, and then when he's done, you know, like it works and it doesn't sound the alarm, and so the deal was that um, if he fixed it. He could have his van for like an like Jason could have Billy's van for like an hour, and so they go over to this site, this construction site, and this is where we get introduced to Zach and one out of the two of my favorite characters in this movie, Trini, and so we see we see um Zach just chilling out on top of a building. And she and, <laughs> and he is looking through some goggles, and he's basically looking at 
Trini while she's meditating. And while while I saw that, I was like, wow, she must have been trained by Iron Fist or something. <laughs> like, I didn't mean that in like, but I meant that in a good way because if she got trained by Iron Fist, that'd be pretty cool. Speaking of Iron Fist, that review's coming very soon. But, um, yeah, so that happens. They're at the construction site, and Billy's like, look, I need to investigate this because there's some weird stuff going on in this area, so I need to see. And Jason's like, I have to go. This is a restricted area. I can't be here. And so, Billy's like, okay. And he continues to work on it, and basically making like a makeshift explosion. And, and so, Jason's just walking around in the forest, and, uh, he sees Kimberly, and she, and she is about to, like, dive into this huge, huge, like, river, river type thing, and she does that, and Jason's like, that's so cool, and then he realizes that, you know, she's not really, uh, she's not, really getting out of the pool she didn't really get out of there yet and he gets worried he's like Kimberly Kimberly and then you know he's like Kimberly and then we see that um she actually comes up behind him and he's about to take off his clothes and dive in after her and she's like it's funny that you're calling me like you know me like you really know me and he's like like well I do know you well, uh, and then she also says, like, then you know that that um, I punched my boyfriend in the face. Jason, his tooth came out. And then Jason's like, I know that, you know, they put it back in. And then, you know, that's when they start to bond. And they talk, and they go over to, like, this mountaintop. And they're just talking about how, you know, their lives have changed drastically by being in Angel Grove. And basically, Jason's like, well, let's go. Let's get out of here. Here. And then Kimberly's like, you never do it. And then Jason's pretty much like, he literally says, try me. And so, while they're talking, Billy is almost done with his makeshift bomb. And so, he presses the button. It doesn't work at first. But then, he reattaches a wire. Then, boom! It just explodes. And then... You know, that's when everybody comes down. That's when all all of them come down. And they and they're all trying to see what that explosion was. And then they realize that there's this weird looking looking glass type wall. And um there lies the power coins. And so Zack is like cutting them all out with this pickaxe. And then you know, they all get their power coins, and then they hear sirens, and that's like, security is coming, we have to go! And so, Billy and Jason are driving in the van, trying to get away from the security, and he's like, we have to go back for Trini and Kimberly! And so, they're trying, they're driving, trying to find them, and when they find them, they're, they're, um, running over there, and so they're like, there they are, we gotta go get them! And so... Jason's like, here, you drive. And then Billy really drives instead of him. And so Jason opens the door. He lets them in. And, and then they say, and then they're like, what about that other guy? Then they're like, just go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, um, then uh, you see Zach. And he jumps on the van. And he's like, hey. And then they let him in. And then they're about to, um, they're about to ride past this train, Lightning McQueen style. But instead of actually making it through, the train just hits them on the side. And they they go flying, and they're flipping and flipping, and the car is just... I don't know which car crash scene was more brutal. The one from this movie or the one from Doctor Strange? He says, I don't know. I don't know. So the next scene, they're all in their houses. And 
they wake up and they realize that something strange there's something strange about what happened and so Jason gets up he goes to his bathroom and um, he leaves the power coin he leaves his power coin on his dresser and then somehow it magically transports to his sink and he's like what the heck and then and he goes like this to his sink and it breaks and he's like what and so and then we cut to Kimberly and she has her power coin and she's like reading this text on her phone so she gets mad and proceeds to crush the phone with her newfound super strength and she's like what and then we cut to Billy and he wakes up and he is basically getting something from his like cabinet and he he rips the door off of the cabinet and he's like what and so they they all know that something weird is going on and when we cut back to Angel Grove we see Billy at school and the guy that bullied him before is basically like I'm gonna proceed I'm gonna proceed to break your wrist and he tries that, and it doesn't work. And then he headbutts him. Then it's like, he tried to headbutt Iron Man or something. He's running like... <laughs> <sighs> oh, I love this movie. So, um, everybody's like, oh, Billy just knocked him out. Dang. And so, uh, Billy is now, now super popular in his school. And Jason and Kimberly are like, you know, it's like something's weird. You know, something weird is going on, right? And then Kimberly's like, yeah. It's like, we need to find, and Jason's like, we need to find Billy. And so they find Billy sitting at this table, and he's telling the story about how, like, if you didn't, it's like, if you, if you feel like you need to, come at me, bro. And so, like, once they find him, Kimberly, Kimberly's like, look, we need to talk. And everybody's like, Billy knows Kimberly? How's that? How's this possible? And then they walk over to um the place where they get lunch. And they're like, you know something weird is going on, right? And they're like, yeah. And like, we're strong, like insanely strong. And then their power coins start, start like levitating. And then they all slam it down. And then... The, the radiation, I guess, actually starts to make the, um, the counters burn or, you know, it causes like this ripple effect where everything is like melting and soda cans are popping and everything. They're like, yeah, we need to go back. We need to go back there. And so they go back there right, and they see the van. That was crashed. And they're like, let's keep going. And so, as soon as they get there, they automatically see Zack just hitting, hitting rocks with the pickaxe. And then he's like, and then they're like, hey, you know what's anything weird? We're going on after last night. And then Zack is like, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, where's the other? Like, where is uh? And then. He's like, you mean the crazy girl? Oh, she's up there. And then we see Trini up there. And then she's like, hey. And then Kimberly's like, hey, let's talk real quick. And then Kimberly, ain't, not Kimberly. And then Trini starts climbing up the wall like Spider-Man. And she's crawling up the wall. And then all of them start crawling up the wall to chase after her. And then she then, and then they catch her and she, they're like, stop, stop, stop. Uh, and then Trini gives this look like, I really don't need this right now. And so, yeah, look, we just want to talk, okay? And then, going into more Spider-Man moves, she then jumps over to the side. And she jumps over to the other side of this huge, like this, this huge gap. 
and then they all proceed to jump. You know, and you know that that's really cool. That's really cool. But then when um Billy starts to jump, jump, he then like they notice that um you know he's not really uh he's not really landing where he should be, and so he lands on the edge, and so like they catch him, they pull him up. He's like, oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. And then he falls off. So, ah! And then he falls into his cavern. Everybody's like, oh my god, is he dead? And then he's like, hey, you guys gotta come down here. You gotta see this. And so they all jump down. And they see that um, with the power coins, you know, it actually makes them glow. Like, it actually makes them glow in the water. Then this funny joke comes in. It's like, Zack is like, a black. And then Billy's like, what? And Zack's like, I am. And then Billy's like, no, you're not. <laughs> That's in the trailer, too, but it's just really funny. <sighs> Man. It's just... All right, let me, let me get back to it. So, Billy... So Billy puts his head down and see that there's more underneath. And so he's swimming and like he's like, guys, you gotta go down there. There's something else down there. And so they're swimming down there. Billy puts his hand through the water and uh, he realizes that um you know there's like this underground thing at the bottom. And so they all fall fall down and then they see it's like this huge like spaceship and so they walk in and they see like all these weird like designs and Billy's like are we really in a spaceship right now he says that to Jason he's like are we really in a spaceship right now and Jason's like yeah, I think so just just breathe okay and um <laughs> he's like um and then he's like quiet there's something here and then we see like all the architectures moving around and everything. I'm telling you, this this was a cool effect. It really was. And so everything's moving around and the staircase starts to go up so they can't escape. And then we see like these two and then we see like this giant like giant circular door giant circular thing and then we see two glowing eyes eyes and for us, we already know who this is, but they don't know who that is. So they're running from it, and they're hiding and stuff. And then, once the light gets closer, whatever it is, we already know who it is. But it grabs Trini, it drags her to to it, and then once we and once we see it, we realize that it's Alpha Five. And so, everyone else starts to come in and try to attack it, and attack Alpha Five. Primarily Zack, he gets he gets thrown, like from there all the way back to back to where they were originally with the stairs. And then and Alpha Five was like, "You're real, you're real. This is amazing." And then I was like, "You guys, like you're so young, you're so youthful." He's like, there's supposed to be five of you. Where's the fifth one? And then he looks over and he's like, oh, there he is. And then he's like, he's like, like, you have the power coins, right? And they're basically like, yeah. He's like, yes, 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 yes. Come with me. Come with me. And then they're like, um. And he's like, I'm a talking robot. You can trust me. And so they walk with him. And you take him to this giant, giant room. And in this room lies Zordon. And so Zordon's like, where, where, are the, where are the Power Rangers? And then he's like, they're right here. They're right here, Zordon. And he's like, you tell me, you tell me that these kids are the Power Rangers? You gotta be kidding me. And so, you know, they're like, and so they're like, like, what's going on? And so Zordon explains what happened and who um, Rita is, and they they're basically telling, and he is basically telling them that she is pure evil. Like you got you gotta stop her. 
her before she ends all life on Earth. Then Kimberly's like, like this is a joke, right? I mean, we're talking to a wall right now. This, there's no way that this can be real. And then Zoran's like, silence! And then all of them are sent to like the the street in Angel Grove, and every and like there's nobody there. And then they see Rita in this dream, and everybody there just freezes, and they turn to dust and ash. And all of them are seeing this. And then Rita comes closer, grabs him by the chin. chin. And then, you know, he starts to take their life away. And then they all wake up from the dream. And they're like, what was that? Now, that's Rita Repulsa. She's pure evil. You gotta stop her before she ends all life on Earth. So they're like, yeah. They're like, they're like, um, no thank you. And then they leave, and then J and then Zordon. Before Jason leaves, Zordon says, "Wait, you know, deep in, deep inside, you know what I'm saying is true." And he's like, "Look, you were chosen as the Red Ranger. You're the leader. You gotta lead this team so you can stop, you stop Rita from ending all life on Earth." And then Jason's like, "All right, all right." And then. Once he comes out, the team is waiting for him. Then he's like, what if he's saying is not crazy? Like, what if what he's saying is not crazy? What if Rita Repulsa is real? And they're like, what, what are you saying? Like, I'm saying that, that like, I'm going back tomorrow. Like, like I'm, going to, I'm going to train. And so, come the next day, Jason's there, like he said. Then everyone else comes out, out from the back. He's like, are you ready? He's like, let's do this. And so they all jump in, and they all start, they all start their training. And basically, Zordon says, there are, like, there are many rules of being a Power Ranger. You must never give away your identity. You must always use your weapons only for defense. And, um, I forget what the other one was, but... You know, those are basically the main rules. And so they start to train. Well, the reason why they start to train is because, you know, they can't morph yet because they're not fully connected with themselves. And so Zoran's like, take them to the training bay. And so he's like, alright, come on. And then the training bay is like this huge pit where, you know, they fight like these. I would say they're like hologram um, putties, but really, like, when they hit them, it's like, it's really hitting them, and so, they're training for days on end, trying to get this, get this right, and, and, like, they really start, like, they're getting good, they're getting really good, and so, Alpha 5 comes in, and shows them the Zords, and basically, like, they're all there, in their glory. And so Zack, being the reckless person that he is, is just takes um he just takes the black one and he rides in it and you know of course he can't control it because he doesn't know how to use it. And so he's so he's like fidgeting around like he's going all over the place, crashing into stuff and stuff, hidden mountains, and then, they're basically like, hey, um, where does that go, and so, the black zord comes crashing in, and they're like, run, and then the zord, zord stops, and then Zack comes out of it, and he's like, oh, oh, that was cool, and then Jason's like, and he's like, you think this is a game, and then, and Zack's like, back off. And then they start to fight. And then Billy's like, stop it. And so, they're all looking at him amazed, like, wow. And then, once we see what happened, we see that Billy is in, you know, his suit. Basically because, you know, he cared about them. And that's how he got connected. That's how he's able to use his suit. And so... Once Zordon was like, 
get out, like, get out. Now, Kimberly's like, like, Billy morphed. And then Zoran's like, like, show me, do it again. And then everyone else is like, do it again, come on, do it again. And then Billy's like, I don't know how. And then Zoran's like, that's what I thought. Get out. Get out. You are not, you are no Power Rangers. Just get out of here. And so, once they get out, well, Mostly everybody gets out. Zach ain't not Zach. Jason. Jason stays in there to basically say like, "Hey, what's your problem?" Right, look, there's nothing I can do. You you you're just not ready. He's like, "You got you gotta say the only reason why you want to be Power Rangers is that so you can be free and get out that wall." Well, and that is the reason why. And so. We cut back to, um, we cut back to everyone else, and Jason comes in, and they're basically like, and Zach's basically like, look, we don't really know each other, that's probably why we can't morph, so let's get to know each other, and so they're all getting to know each other, and then, once, um, then, like, once the conversation elevates, it really takes this dark turn, especially when Zach brings up his sick mother and uh Trini brings up that well you know I mean Trini being gay when I heard this news I was super excited because that meant more character development for her so Trini being gay I did not have a problem with it at all if anything it settled me on the character even if anything it brought me closer to the character even more. So she mentions that and that um her family wants her to be like this like a certain way. Now she had to move to three different schools and you know, she basically like she's she's like the more people I don't know, the more you know, like the better I'll be. And so Kimberly just skips, you know, her her story because, you know, once we get to it later, you'll you'll understand why. So Billy then speaks and says that um I don't really miss my dad that much. And uh the reason why I'm in Angel Grove is because uh you know, I blew up my lunchbox. And so, you know, they're laughing and everything. And then we cut to Rita. Like for for the whole for uh, the whole time that all of this is going on, Rita has basically been like a frozen corpse. Corpse that was in the ocean, and she was found by fishermen, and she basically came back to life one time. And then, once she came back to life, she started finding all the gold that she could. And because gold basically gives her energy. And so that's where we leave off. And she's going to this store where it's filled with gold. And she's like, give me all the gold you have. And so she gives him the gold. And she eats the gold. And she gets more power. And so the police show up and is like, hey, put your hands up. And then she turns around and she starts walking towards him. And he blasts her with the shotgun. And she gets up, and she takes the staff, and she deflects all the bullets, and basically brings this huge putty to life. And so, that's where we leave off there. And then, in terms of, um, and when we cut back to one of the rangers, which is Trini, um, Rita is at her house. And she's about to kill Trini. Like, she's, she's like, throwing her into walls. She's, like, throwing her into walls, threatening, her, threatening to kill her. her. Throwing her all over the place. And she's saying, if you, if you bring me the coins, then I will spare your life. And obviously, she's not going to betray the team, so she didn't do that. She told the team, look, Rita came to my house, and she said that, you know... If 
I brought the coins and she was sparing my life. And so they're like, like, look, like we 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 can't do this. And Jason's like, look, I believe that we can all do it. This is our destiny. Rita is real and we have to stop her. And so they're like, raise your hand. Like, raise your hand if you're with me. And so all of them raise their hands. And they're like, alright, let's go. So they go to the they go to the fisherman's bay where she is. And you realize that she held this dude captive. And then Trini recognizes that there's like this drop of water hitting his head. And she's like, oh crap. And then she comes flying down. And she's like, boom! And then all of them just fly back. And then she's, and then she starts kicking all of their butts. She's like deflecting all of them, throwing them all over the place, punching them hard, or kicking them hard, and then trapped them. Then she has them trapped. And so they're like, and so Rita's like, I knew you wouldn't. Like, I knew you'd be stupid enough not to take my offer. And so she's like, I know one at least one of you knows where these power coin where the crystal is. If you don't know what the crystal is, um there's basically this crystal that was put in Angel Grove so that it would maintain all life on Earth. So that's basically what the crystal is. So she's like like one of you knows where that crystal is. And you're gonna tell me where it is. Or one of you is going to die. And so she primarily goes to Billy and Zack. And so she's like about to kill Zack. And Billy's like, alright, alright, alright. And then um Rhea's like, where is it? Then <laughs> Billy says, It's underneath Krispy Kreme. And no wonder they have this Krispy Kreme promotion because um, the Krispy Kreme is actually like a huge part of the story because, you know, underneath the Krispy Kreme is where the crystal is. So yeah, after he tells her this, she pretty much drowns him. Like he is under that water. And when they pull him out, he, like he, he's dead. Like Billy's dead. And so they take him to, um, they take him to Zordon. And he's like, you have to fix him. You have to fix him. You have to bring him back to life. And then he's like, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. And then, you know, they're all sad and stuff. And so, so like, like, um, Alpha 5 realized, like, the gate is open. The portal's open. It's open. You could enter through it, Zordon. Come on, come on. And then he's like, Rah! and then he disappears for a moment. And he's like, where, where did he go? And Alpha Five's like, I don't know. And then he reappears. And he's like, you could have entered through the portals, Zordon. Why didn't you? And he's like, because, because like, when you have to have five rangers, five rangers in the team. And so we see that Billy wakes up, wakes up from his death. And they're like, all right. We realize that this is what we need to do. And we will train. We'll train. Until we get this right. And so Zordon's like, yes. And then, once they reach, and once they reach like the portal, or no, not the portal, but the thing that you step on to morph, they're pretty much like, it's like, they're, like, they're ready. Like, they're all serious now. And then, before Jason steps on it, he says, it's morphin' time. And then he steps on it, and then they're going like this, like, Hah! they're really focusing. And then you can see that the suits are now morphing onto them. And I absolutely love this because once the, once the morph is done, and they're about to come out, they're about to come out. Um, hold on, I'm just pulling something up real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, once they, once they, um, come out, they're pretty much like this, like this.
That's basically what they're like. I'll put a, I'll put a, I'm gonna edit that part out. And then I'm gonna, um, put the clip of them actually walking with the music. Music, but that's basically what they were like. And then they realized that, um, Rita is now creating Goldar and all the putties. And so, they're, and so the Power Rangers are, they're running. And then they see that the putties are now entering the lair. And so they jump into the water and they start destroying all the putties. And then they jump out of the water and they see now that there are more putties outside. And so they're beating them up, they're beating them up. While well, they're going crazy, the Red Ranger pulls a laser knife out of his hand. He starts slicing and dicing. And. And Kimberly is like, Kimberly is hitting them, and Trini is just running on them. Like, she's literally running on them and kicking them. And like, oh, I love that scene. And so, you realize that the Zords are coming out. And, like, they're standing on the cliff. They're, like, unmasking everything. And then Billy's like, we're too late. They see Goldar, and they're like, we gotta stop. And then Kimberly's like... We gotta stop them. Let's get the Zords. And so they're and so they're in the Zords. They're going, they're going. They're chasing after Goldar. And then they get to Angel Grove, and they're destroying all the putties, and they're destroying all of them. All of them. They're using teamwork. Jason's giving out instructions. And Kimberly helps him out. Kimberly helps Jason out because at the time, you know, he was cov his Zord was covered in putties. And so, Kimberly shot them off. And so, like, the funniest joke that Jason makes in there is, like, he grabs a Camaro with the Zord's foot. And he throws, him at the, he throws the Camaro at the putties. And he's like, sorry, Bumblebee. <laughs> oh, that was so good. And so, and so, um, Bill... And so the team are just, like, they are kicking a whole lot of butt. And so they get to Goldar, and um, Goldar is beating them pretty hard. And so, like, they're pushing them, like, he's pushing them into the pit where the crystal is. You know, they fall in, and then you realize that when we see them, like, they're transforming into something. Like, what, what could they be transforming into? And then... Once we see it, we realize they're transforming into the Megazord. And so, once the Megazord, once we see the Megazord, like, at first they don't know how to control it. But then Jason's like, like, you guys are feet, we're the arms. And so we have to, so we have to work together to control this. And so, then they know how to control it. And so they're running towards Golar, and they punch him straight in the face. They punch Goldar straight in the face. And so, so Goldar like spawns a sword out of his hand. He's like, um, he's got a sword now. And so they're like So Megazord takes the pterodactyl wings from uh Kimberly Zord and uses them as swords. And then he takes them. Megazord takes them and stabs them. them and both sides of the chest with Goldar and then then um, we see um, Rita coming out of Goldar and Jason's like look if you surrender now and give us that coin we will not only we will not only not beat you up but we will also take you to Zordon to let him decide where wait, what happens next and then Rita's was like, "Are you serious? Let Sword on decide what happens next. Never." And she jumps at Megazord, and Megazord slaps her so hard that she flies into space. I'm not kidding. You see, we literally see her flying into space. I love that scene. And so, once the battle is over, 
um, everyone comes in and sees Megazord just standing there. And they're like, yeah, you saved us! And they see everyone there. And what was really cool is that um, during this scene, we saw um, the original Kimberly and um, the original Green Ranger in there, in the crowd. And so, yeah, I really liked that. And so we saw that. And then afterwards, we see how better their lives are. And that, you know, now everyone knows about the Power Rangers. And so, you know, they're all talking about it. And Zordon's like, he's like, these five have really proved, really proved their strength as a team. And that they are the true Power Rangers. And so that's where the movie ends. And then, as an end credit scene... Yes, they do tease Tommy, the Green Ranger, but we don't actually see him. I mean, we see his green jacket on the seat, but that's it. And then we zoom through the hallway, and we see this room explode. And then, and we hear Jason's voice like, Billy! And he's like, look, that, that was my fault, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then that's where the movie ends. My goodness, that was such a good movie. Like... It's really hard to explain in words how good this movie is. So I'll just explain it through this. This movie. I, it's my favorite movie of all time now. It is. Like if you watch my um, non-spoiler review, you know this. And I, I absolutely love this movie. And I will be going to see it again. I am going to support this movie all I can. Because really, this movie deserves all the money. It deserves to make ten times its budget back. Back. Like like I said before, I want a whole trilogy of these movies. Because you can really... Like, if you have a whole trilogy of these movies, not only can you do something really interesting with it, but you, should, you can also tell some great stories with it too. And, you know, I really like this movie. Everybody was great. Naomi Scott, uh, Becky G, um, the guys that played the other three Rangers, they all did great. Brian Cranston, Cranston, Elizabeth Banks, Bill Hader, they did great. Like, every everything was so good in this movie. And literally everything that I said here, like, it might have happened in the movie, but it is nothing compared to actually seeing it in the movie so when I say you need to see this movie like you need to see this movie you have to because I'm telling you right now you will not regret it you will not regret it so this was my spoiler review for Power Rangers and I'm Spider Fan 101 saying peace